How to make money by knowing general chemistry as a pre-med. What's up beautiful people, my name is Andres. I am a huge advocate for being able to take skills that we already have and being able to turn those into something that's profitable. I feel like it's easier to get paid to do something that you're actually good at and that you know. As a pre-medical student, there is a shit ton of bills, not only in undergraduate, but in medical school and beyond that. And that's not even including just like basic living and just enjoying life every now and then. So something that I did and I found it to be very beneficial for myself uh, it was using my skills in general chemistry and using that to become a tutor. I would usually work like maybe 10 to 11 hours per week um, just you know tutoring for the chemistry class and I find that it really does help just for a lot of aspects uh, mainly for my point at the time was uh, just creating some like income for myself um, you know just more like spending cash for the time being but it also helps you like kind of keep that information that you learned in gen chem and so that you don't like forget all of it right before the MCAT. Plus I spent hours trying to learn Gen Chem and I'll be damned if I don't use that in some other way than the actual class. So the first and probably highest paying uh, tutor job that you can get by using Gen Chem is being a Czech tutor. Czech tutors can experience uh, 20 to about $26 per hour just by tutoring. I don't know about you, but that is damn good pay for a tutor job that's online. Probably about double what I would be making as just a normal tutor, uh, just like it's an in-person tutor per hour. So to apply to become a Czech tutor, you need to offer uh, some identification, kind of like your uh, school ID, as well as a diploma or copies of university transcripts. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is like right, put in the description down below, if you guys are interested uh, to go check it out on how to become a Czech tutor and all the requirements that are needed for that and the actual exact pay and stuff and uh, where you would fit in it in that position because it, you could get paid less depending on the subject and basically like how much they need you and all that stuff. And I know as a pre-med student that I occasionally use Chegg, sometimes not for my own benefit. So it pays really good and it can really use your information uh, from Gen Chem and uh, I'll leave a link to all that information down below. The next one that I do suggest is Glassdoor. Um, it's like basically a website where uh, it has all these listings of different tutor jobs with different subjects and uh, it also gives like the pay per hour right next to it. And a little side note to the benefits of all this stuff is that this is not specific for Gen Chem. Like you could this can be for any class that you've taken in the in the past that you've done well in is you know such as like math classes science classes other you know uh, science classes um, but whatever but on Glassdoor the pay does differ depending on the subjects and stuff so there is a whole sign up process that is required for this to happen but yet again I'll leave a link in the description uh, basically where you could go and check it out for yourself and see if this is something that you might be interested in and this could be a good backup if Chegg doesn't work out. Uh, the next one is actually finding the in-person tutor job and so uh, there's a couple ways to go about doing this. Um, in my specific case what happened was my professor from my Gen Chem class asked me if I would like to be a PLF which is basically like a teaching assistant in a Gen Chem class and the pay was about $12 per hour so I mean it wasn't terrible but wasn't like great either but a huge benefit is that your hours that you're gonna be working is kind of molded around you because like obviously they know that you're students you know you have other obligations as a student and you know the job is kind of like your second priority uh, other than school so the hours can be very flexible and it actually is nice to be able to engage with people in person and I feel like uh, that was a big challenge for me trying to be a tutor online uh, you know during uh, entire COVID you know just uh, trying to teach other students Gen Chem on Zoom. The students would come to me with a question and I would be trying to like write it out and it would just be like difficult um, and I don't and it was kind of hard to see if they like actually understood what I was saying and I would ask them and it was just like a blank screen and um, yeah, so I don't know, it, it's definitely easier to be able to teach that same material when you're in person and you could actually like it engage with the student you know I'm sure that's what a lot of teachers have experienced plus another benefits about in-person uh, tutoring is that you get more hands-on experience with learning the material again to like ingrain that information for the MCAT the other way that you can go about becoming an in-person tutor for your general chemistry class at uh, your university is uh, simply just emailing uh, the Gen Chem professors because sometimes they are short-handed and they don't have people that are you know are going to step up uh, for that position 
and uh, just knowing that you know if you did decent in the class and you were you know basically on your shit for the class you know they'll actually consider you for the job worst case scenario they say no actually they might just delete everything you did before that That'll probably be the worst thing. Just kidding. Lastly, there are tons of just online teaching opportunities as a tutor. Like, it's like I said earlier, it doesn't have to just be for Gen Chem. Like, it can also be for like ACT, SAT stuff, you know? Uh, there's tons of different ave avenues that you can go about just to get some like side cash for things that you've already learned and you've worked hard to understand. You put in the effort to try and learn it to get a decent grade in the class, right? But if you're killing two birds with one stone, that is the best situation by far. Definitely something to consider. Uh, I definitely don't regret being a tutor, um, even though it was probably during the hardest uh, times of my school year. I feel like it did help me just kind of like get a break from my schoolwork, helping other people who, you know, I was like in their same position like not too long ago. And I knew what it felt like to be completely like lost in the class. And if I can be able to help someone out and uh, kind of just give that back, you know, that's something that's. I feel like it's very rewarding. So all the links will be down below for all of these teaching opportunities that you could look at. And you know, it's like the job applications that you could uh, look at and uh, let me know how it goes down below. If you know of any other uh, opportunities that are available so that other people could, you know, check it out. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching my video. And if you guys would like to see more of me, please like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.